with over 24 lakh students having in fact their careers under limbo in fact now the neat irregularities have sparked a lot of controversy students allege four major problems one that the papers were leaked in various states secondly there was a question where two answers were actually correct and the benefit of that could not be granted to the students third is the irregular grace marks being granted to certain students and the fourth and the most important one first time ever in the history of this particular prestigious examination that is conducted by the national tasting agency this here it had 64 toppers which is unprecedented the matter has now reached the topmost court of the country that is the supreme court of india where the supreme court of today dealt with one of the major issues with regards to the grant of grace marks the national testing agency which conducts these particular examinations came before the topmost court of the country and stated that for 100 1536 students the retest can actually be conducted and if at all the student chooses for a retest he can go for the same if he does not chooses for a retest then his marks without the grace can be actually accepted and the ranks could be shuffled. However, this retest will now take place on the 23rd of June, while the result of the same would then come out on the 30th of June. Then, the counselling would begin on the 4th of July. The Supreme Court will hear the matter next on the July 8th, where it will be dealing with the other issues and the most important one being whether there was a conspiracy, whether there was collusion of somebody and whether there was some irregularity or a big irregularity that the national testing agency had while it was conducting this prestigious examination and who is to be held accountable for and whether or not the Supreme Court would kick in a Supreme Court monitored SIT or the Central Bureau of Investigation to look into this particular matter. I am with us uh, Mr. Alak Pandey who was speaking to uh, who is the petitioner in this particular case sir. Um, you know uh, one of the major issues with regards to the grace marks today the Supreme Court has dealt with it. Uh, what was the direction that were given by the Supreme Court? See in our petition it was very clear that the concept of grace mark is uh, absurd and it should not be there and you cannot introduce it uh, post the exams. You cannot uh, change the rules of the game when the game has uh, started. So you are changing the rule of the games. So uh, today the the matter was serious and the seriousness can be judged by the fact that the director of NTA himself was present in the first hearing and before the petition could start, before the hearing could start, the counsel from the uh, NTA director's uh, position himself stated that the grace numbers they have allotted to 1563 candidates has caused a hard burn among the students and they want to retrace this decision uh, and they want to uh, conduct a re-exam for all these 1563 candidates and they want to give a choice to these candidates that whether they want to give a re-exam or whether they want to retain their original number without grace and this paper will probably happen on 23 June and the results will be declared before 30th of June and all the ranks will be shuffled and the counselling will happen. Yes. Uh, Mr. Pandey, you know, a uh, lot of students in distress because of this most, pre one of the most pre prestigious examinations in the country. What is your message to those students because they actually love you and uh, you have been supportive uh, to them for, for a very long See, time? See, my message is that this was the first day, the first hearing in the uh, Honorable Supreme Court and NTA comes and admit that the concept of grace marks is not correct. They clearly agreed. So, our questions for further are, are we, we have further questions. Our first further question is that uh, whether NTA is hiding a lot more facts which are not in public domain, so there should be an investigation on them because the concept of grace marks they have not folded out in uh, in the public. We have pointed it out with the help of 719 marks 720. They themselves didn't declare. So there is there is a violation of right. Uh, there is a violation of right to information. Uh, in the conduct of NTA throughout the examination and there can be more cases. Second, only those candidates get, get the opportunity to write the exams or grace marks who went to the Honorable High Court. What about the students who couldn't go to the High Court, who didn't have this information? So this is like violation of right to equality. So the case is still open, even the case of paper leak is open. So my message to them is not to lose hope, but lose hope. But at the same time, keep in mind that this is a practical world. We all are fighting and may truth wins, may truth wins, satmev jayate bachcho. But this is a practical world and this one exam cannot decide your life, cannot decide. I myself is just have passed grade 12 and I have made something in my life. You can also do it. So this is a practical world, we will keep fighting. But yes, yes, whatever you were raising for 7-8 days, how come the concept of grace mass, something is happening. Yes, it is evident, it is really evident now. The government, the, the Honorable Supreme Court needs to have a committee which go thoroughly through the data of NTA and conducts an audit and find more disparities 
which might be there. Yes. So this was Mr. Alak Pandey who was speaking to us uh, with regards to the whole uh, neat controversy that has now happened in Remember uh, that you know this particular uh, examination of the most prestigious in the country um, and and facing a lot of controversy whether it's about the grace marks whether it's about the uh, the shuffling of the roll numbers or uh, various other issues have now come up but definitely it is uh, boiling down to just one point that the students who had been the aspirants the candidates are under a distress